y'all. Okay, so y'all might see a couple of videos where I look the exact same. And y'all can probably see I've got a different background going on back here. I'm trying different places in this house. Um, trying to figure out where a good filming place is. The natural light today is just awesome. Um, y'all see Colin's birthday balloons? Mickey Mouse is still, still going strong after, what, four days? Five days? <laughs> but... I don't have the heart to take it down and pop it. <laughs> yeah. I'm not the only mom who pops their kids' birthday balloons, right? After a couple days. Right? Please raise your hand make me feel better. But anyways, you guys. Okay, real talk for a second. So, I've got a couple of videos that I want to get done. Um, it's been a crazy week. I've got a little bit of time right now while Colin's sleeping and the big two are doing their own thing. So, I'm going to hop on and try and get these knocked out. So, if it feels like deja vu... And you're looking at the same thing for three different videos. I do so apologize. But I gotta get them done, right? Okay, so everybody this year, if you guys are on social media a lot and you follow, especially like I've noticed a lot, like the planner community, like planner girls and scrapbooking people and everything, um, everybody's doing this like word of the year, okay? A lot of people did this last year. I've noticed a lot doing it this year. Um, and I was like, that's a good idea. So I'm going to try it. But of course, in true me fashion, I'm doing it differently. <laughs> and I'm putting a twist on it from what everybody else does. So, um, instead of picking a word that is like my mantra for the year, I am doing like a phrase, I guess. So, mine is going to be embrace the journey. Yes. So, this is something that I feel like is kind of hard for me. I struggle with I struggle with focusing so much on like the end game. Like anything I go to do or talk about or think about, I focus so much on okay, the end result. Like what is this going to look like? Where do I want this to go? What do I want this to be instead of like taking it piece by piece. I'm really bad about that and it's something I'm trying to fix and something I'm trying to work on. So, I am just in this really weird phase isn't the right word. Just a different phase. I'm in a very different place in my life right now than I ever have been. Um, and so I just really, I'm not struggling with it. But I really just consciously want to just truly embrace. So, y'all know me. I've got some good quotes and some good scripture that has just spoke to me that just fits with this. Um, I'm going to take, I'm working on it right now, but I want to do a spray to my bullet journal of just all these quotes and anytime I find anything that kind of goes with it. Because that's the kind of person I am. That kind of stuff speaks to me and and I don't know. I just love it. But... So, you guys, I know you guys have all, everybody knows, Ecclesiastes 3, 1 through like 8. You know, it talks about there's a season for everything and a time for everything. Um, and I just, I'm, I'm sticking with that right now. I, so, if you guys don't know, if you haven't followed me for a while, um, Clinton and I, have been married almost six years. We've got three kids. Um, Kason's just over five, just turned five a couple months ago. So five, three and a half, and then Colin just turned one last week. So three kids, five and under. Yeah, yeah, girl. <laughs> but I love it. I love it. I wouldn't change it. Um, we just moved back to our farm this past summer, so we're in the process of, like, getting the farm back up and going and back to all of its glory and bigger and better even. Um, we we have a grass-fed beef operation, and or, or did. Right now we're, we're back in the building stages, but we're getting there. Um, but, like, we, we have such dreams for where we want it to go. You know, we want to make it... A huge thing we want local people to be able to come to the farm and like see where your stuff's coming from and come and pick out your own eggs like get them out of the hen house you know make this 
just so different than anything else that's going on around us. Not just beef. We won't just be beef. Like, yes, we have the beef, but that's not going to be all it is. You know, we just, we have such dreams for where we want this to go. I want to be able to do a festival every year, kind of at the start of summer to kick off the season. And then kind of in the fall to like, before everybody hibernates down for the winter. You know, we have such dreams of where we want this to go and like these levels we want to hit. And so it's just starting to build that and really get into that. And we're really having to get into the business side of it more than we ever did before. Before we were strictly just like we sold just the live cows and kind of did it differently. So there, there's a lot of changes there in and of itself. Um, I, for the first time ever, am mostly, not exclusively, but mostly a stay-at-home mom. Um, I do still work flex time as a pediatric ER and trauma nurse, which I love, but right now we're very blessed that it, we've been able to work it to where I'm home with my babies more, which is hugely important um, to both Clinton and I. Um, but that's a new thing for me. I've always went to work. I've always worked and gotten a paycheck and contributed in that way to the family, and so it's a very different place for me. I am contributing. What I'm doing is important. Don't get me wrong. For all of you stay-at-home moms, like that is a hugely important role. It's just very different for me. And to adjust to that and not... It's just different. It's an adjustment to not feel like... To not be monetarily contributing as much as I was before. It's just... It's it's a, a stepping stone. <laughs> it's a different place for me. Um... But honestly, like right now, my heart, the biggest thing that is just so different for me is, and I don't know why it's hitting me now. Like Colin just turned a year old. Like I don't know why it hasn't hit me harder before now. But y'all, I'm really not going to have any more babies. Like really, really not going to have any more babies. And that's kind of, oh God, oh, I don't want to cry. That's a hard moment for a mom, like, to truly realize you're done. Like, you you won't be pregnant anymore. You won't carry this little life for nine months anymore. You're not going to go through labor and birth again. And I know some people don't ever want to go through that again. Some people don't even want to think about it. I And I'm not saying mine were, like, easy. I mean, I've... There were definitely rough moments with some of my deliveries, especially with Collins. But just something about it, like Clinton and I just together, like bringing this little life into the world that God has blessed us to be the parents for. I mean, that's it's, it's a huge thing. And I don't want to take credit away. Like, my mama was there every step of the way. Clinton's mom was with us. Like, I, I, we could not have done it without them as well. Especially my poor mama. I think this last birth just about gave her a heart attack. But I just like to realize for real, for real, we're not going to have any more babies. Not totally of my choosing. I would have went for one more or two. <laughs> or Lord knows how many. But um, I had some heart rate issues with Colin. So the doctors kind of were like, we're not saying you can't, but you really probably shouldn't. So... We took some measures to make sure that we don't have any more little munchkins. Now, Clint and I have thrown up possibly in the future when our kids are older and in school and a little more established. You know, we've, we've talked about that when that time comes, we may visit the idea of fostering or of adoption. That's one of those things, like, the time will come for that discussion later. So, it doesn't necessarily mean I'll never have a baby in my life again, but I'm never going to be pregnant again. I'm never going to carry a child and deliver a child again. And that's a hard moment. It's just a hard moment. So, I'm wrapping my head around that. But at the same time, like, for the first time in practically six years, because I've been pregnant or breastfeeding, or very freshly finished being pregnant or breastfeeding. I've, I've been in that for almost six years solid. Pretty much the entire time Clint and I have been married. <laughs> because we're crazy like that. 
but my body is mine again like a hundred percent it doesn't belong to a little human that's sucking it out of me it doesn't belong to you know i'm not like a milk cow and constantly being a milk machine for another little kid like my body's 100 percent mine again so i'm kind of well it's this mix of emotions you kind of have this heartbreak of i'm never going to have another baby like i'm never going to be pregnant again and for those of you who love being pregnant and love feeling that and love carrying that like that's a hard moment but at the same time there's kind of this excitement of I'm totally my own self again and I can completely discover myself again and you know I'm I'm not worried about getting skinny I'm not worried about being like a model in a fitness magazine or something but I do want to start like working out and doing some like strength training like I'm not trying to be skinny but I want to tone up what I have and I'm especially with the farm and stuff like I want to get my muscles in the best shape they can be I want to strength train so that you know I want that to be my workout I want the endorphins from working out I do want to be healthy and and you know be in the best shape I can be but I really want to like I really gotten interested in specifically like doing some like strength training workouts but you know you want to get yourself back in good shape and it's like okay I can actually buy clothes again that don't have to be able to stretch hugely for this huge belly you know, um, I go through phases very sporadically, like with wanting to wear makeup and stuff like that. And so right now I'm kind of in a makeup phase, not so much makeup really. I do like foundation and mascara, but I'm real stuck on lipsticks right now. <laughs> and I've never been a lipstick person. I don't know why. I don't know. But right now I'm really having fun just playing around with different lipsticks and you know, you've got to do that stuff for yourself as a mom, especially when you're in this limbo of like, okay, I'm not having any more babies, but my body's not what it was before kids. And I don't care how much you work out. I don't care how much you diet. I don't care what you do. Your body's never going to be what it was before babies. And it's totally fine. Your body is amazing for, for doing what it did through pregnancy and birth and everything. Like I will never, ever, you will never hear me say anything bad about your body or whatever you know, after having babies, like I would never, I would never give it back to go back to that ever. But you know, it's, it's a different body. Even if you are in the best shape you've been in your life. And even if you're in better shape than you were before you had kids, it's still a different body. And so it just takes getting used to. Lord y'all, that was a lot of rambling. I got real, real, woo -hoo -hoo, the train went way off the tracks. But back to my point, okay, so my whole motto and my mantra and my focus for this year is just embracing the journey, realizing that I don't need to worry about the end game. I don't need to worry about everything being perfect. You know, just I need to give myself the grace that God gives me on things and just take it one day at a time truly soak up every minute with my kids right now and just every day make sure that I take time to be grateful for the fact that I am home with them as much as I am now which is a huge deal um you know because they are not this little for long like I can't believe I can't believe that Clinton and I've almost been married six years I can't believe that my oldest baby is five like y'all I'm about to be a kindergarten mom, like have a kid in like real school, not just preschool. Like, whoo, where did the time go? Girl. But I just truly want to embrace each stage of my life. And right now, sometimes it's, it's frustrating because I feel like I'm constantly go, 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 go. Because between preschool and this and that and Clinton and our youth leaders for our church, which we absolutely love, but you know, it's, it's, that's another night of the week that we're going and busy and running here and there. And with the farm, it's always something. And with the kids, it's always something. And then, you know, Callie does gymnastics. And so we drive down, you know, down to town for that. And that's a trip. And I work one day a week. So just when I'm getting my groove for the week, I go to work for a day, you know. But my focus this year is to try and like take a few minutes each day and be like, you know what? 
I have a good life. This is amazing. I have so many things to be grateful for. I'm so blessed. And, you know, in a split second, everything will change. And in six months, I'm going to be like, oh, my God, I can't believe that time has went by so fast. You know, kids are changing all the time and they're growing. And, you know, it's just I need to stop and just take a moment and embrace where I'm at right now and embrace each step and just fully be present in this part of my life and in this season and in this phase of things. And just let myself be okay with that. Like, let myself be okay with the fact that, like, things don't have to be perfect. Like, right now it is driving me insane that we finally kind of gotten Granny moved into her new house. And we're in the main house at the farm. And it's kind of driving me nuts that I don't have things, like, perfectly how I want them. And the house is not set up perfectly. But you know what? That's just part of moving and that's part of getting settled into a new house and getting things set the way you want them. It takes time and it's a process and you're not going to get it right the first time. And I'm trying really hard to be okay with that. So, struggling a little bit. But, I just, if anybody else is in the same position, I am like a fully, like I'm with you girl and I support you and I'm right there with you. Holler at me anytime you want to chit chat because I think... I don't care what your lifestyle is. I think as a mom, at some point, if only for a short while, if you're not constantly going through this, because I feel like I kind of go through this struggle like consistently just with different things. But I feel like as a mom, as a woman even, you go through different phases and sometimes the adjustment of that is just hard. Um, but embrace your journey. Embrace your story. Like God has plans specifically for you. And it's okay if you don't have them all figured out right now. It's okay if you don't understand where you're at right now or why you're going through what you're going through. There's a point, and it's going to be beautiful when you get to the end game. But for right now, just embrace where you're at and just soak it all in because it's where you're supposed to be right now. Right where you are is right where you're supposed to be, and it's going to be fun. So just embrace your journey because it is your journey. It is not anyone else's. It is made specifically for you and it has been designed to be exactly what you need to go through to ultimately be the person that you are meant to be. So I'm going to quit talking. I'm going to leave you guys with a couple quotes. If you guys have a word of the year or a phrase or a quote or a mantra for the year, drop it in the comments because I'm so like I would love to see everybody else's and like your reasoning behind it. I would love that. Um, Cause I really struggle trying to decide like, okay, what is the one thing I'm really gonna, you know, but drop it in the comments. If you guys are kind of doing something similar, I'm going to leave you guys with a couple quotes that I found because y'all know I'm all about my quotes, but I'm going to um, leave you guys with a couple of those and I will talk to you guys again soon. Okay. So the first one is Anna Quinlan and it says the thing that is really hard and really amazing is giving up on being perfect and beginning the work of becoming yourself how hard is that as a mom and as a woman and as a human in general but I love that I love 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 that quote and then the other one and I couldn't find an like where this came from but it's all connected your gifts your circumstance your purpose your imperfections your journey your destiny it's molding you embrace it I love that I love that so they summed it up and said it much more eloquently than anything I have rambled on for the last like 15 or 20 minutes but I love you guys embrace your journey and I'm gonna be working very hard this year to truly embrace every piece of mine and giving myself grace but I love you guys I will talk to you soon <laughs>